today. So for some reason, my phone is not really showing when anybody logs on to watch or if you comment. So if you comment and I don't respond to you uh, via live, I will whenever I get off because I'm not able to really see them all for some reason. Uh, Lucinda, I did just see yours, so hey, may maybe it's going to work and I'll be able to see yours. Um, so if you comment and I don't respond, it's not personal, I promise, but I will respond when I'm done with this. So uh, Facebook has been wonky with my live videos anyway. I don't know if anybody else is having issues, but I wanted to hop on here. I was preparing my tea talk. Uh, for tomorrow, I do it on my business page every Tuesday. So if you don't follow that page, feel free to go follow. Uh, but I do a Tuesday Tea Talk with Chrissy every Tuesday. And I was preparing for that. And I don't know, I just felt it was heavy on my heart to come on here. And perhaps maybe somebody else is needing this message too. Maybe somebody that doesn't follow my page. Um, and wouldn't catch it over there. And so, Angie, I miss you too, girl. How are you? But anyway, so I wanted to hop on here and just kind of give a little bit of that message and what it means to me. And so uh, it's going to be on Zechariah 4.10. Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. And for me, this this week, that was a scripture I had to cling on to. I had to cling on to for dear life because I was so frustrated. I was I felt so defeated. And most of you know my story when it comes to fertility and PCOS. I'm very vocal about it. That's what I do with my job is I try to coach women who have PCOS who experience pregnancy loss, and I'm still learning a whole lot. I'm not, definitely not an expert, but it's something that I really, really, really try to study and pour into because I didn't understand it for so long. And honestly, I didn't realize that the foods that I was putting in my body were hurting me so much and that I really needed to put foods in my body that would help me. And so... It wasn't really until I met my husband that I started to really kind of, I don't know if it was care or just I needed him to explain a little bit to me about foods and health and things that we put in our bodies. But when I met him, I really started to just kind of pay attention to that a little bit, un poquito, not a lot, because I was very stubborn. And if you know me, you know I love Dr. Pepper, and you know that I love chocolate milk. I loved dairy, loved dairy so much. I mean, I would eat, I would drink True Moo chocolate milk every day. Not kidding, guys. I would drink it every single day. Now I look at what's on in True Moo milk, and I'm like, no, I can't drink that. So no offense if you still like it, because trust me, I loved it. Um, and it's, it's, it's just for me, for my particular diet. I, I need to be dairy free. So that's like why I like cringe now because I specifically have to be dairy free. Um, so I'm not trying to put true mood down at all. I actually still love it, uh, but I just can't drink it. So anyway, fast forward to us moving to Portland. I went and finally for the first time saw a PCOS specialist. I, they didn't have that available in, in our hometown in Texas, and so when I got to see one here, it was, it was amazing to me because I was able to ask questions and to get specific answers. Uh, we found out exactly why we miscarried. Uh, no, there wasn't a doctor in, in Lubbock that could tell why we miscarried, and if you've ever experienced pregnancy loss, you just want to know why. You want to know what is wrong with your body. You want to know what happened. You want to understand. And so to finally have that answer was a godsend. You guys have no idea what finding out truly did for me. 
Uh, but the biggest thing that it did for me is it helped me realize how important it was that I be healthy, that I put the right foods in my body, that I take out the, the wrong foods for me specific to PCOS, which is gluten and dairy. I really need to be gluten free and I really need to be dairy free. And gluten and dairy are like the greatest things in life, aren't they? I mean, they are so good. Anything with gluten in it is yummy, but I needed to really cut that out. And so I have spent so many months and weeks just really trying to perfect my diet. I've uh, been trying to get healthy. And, you know, I've, I've quit drinking my sodas and my true mood chocolate milk. And, uh, and so I thought I was on a good path and, and I am on a good path. And this is where this message comes from is, Monday, I had an ovarian cyst rupture, and I hadn't had one since Thanksgiving, which is a long time for me because, I mean, normally it's, it's, it had been a monthly thing. Um, if it wasn't a rupture, it was at least a cyst, of, whether it was just one or two, but I had something. And so I had a cyst rupture, and, you know, I had been feeling good, you know, and like, oh, life's great. I'm finally kicking PCOS in the butt. And then it happened, and I tell you what, guys, I felt so defeated Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. I felt like, what am I doing all of this, like, change and hard work for what? To still get a cyst structure, to still feel like crap, you know, to still have these issues, and so... It, I had to really lean into God. I had to really, really seek His love and His care for me. And, and that scripture, Zechariah 410, it just screamed out to me because we cannot hate or despise our small beginnings, guys. I don't know what goal you're trying to reach. I don't know what you're trying to do in life, but keep taking those small steps. Keep doing it and you might have um, a little mishap or you might have a little fallback whatever you want to call it but keep going keep going don't get so discouraged that you quit because I almost wanted to quit I'm not kidding I was so discouraged Monday and Tuesday I wanted to quit the PCOS diet I wanted to just drink a big old glass of true moo chocolate milk and have all the gluten I, my little heart desired but I didn't I didn't as much as I wanted to give up I couldn't because I needed to remember this was a small beginning I've gone a few months not having a cyst or a cyst structure and so that's huge for me now I have to grab on to that small win and allow it to carry me to the bigger win so I don't know if, if Darren and I will ever have children naturally. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get pregnant and carry it to full term. I don't know that. But I do know I have to be healthy because even when we adopt, I need to be a healthy mom. I need to be a healthy wife. That was another thing that was so frustrating this past week was not being able to make my husband dinner or to clean the house or to do those wifely duties that I love doing and and for him to have to come home to work so exhausted but have to take care of me and and I know he loves taking care of me too but it was still a frustration and so I had to remember this is a huge win for me it's a huge win for me to to go so long as long as I did without getting a cyst structure and and so I have to cling on to the small beginning because it's going to be a big beginning one day. It's going to be, I'm going to look back and I'm going to say, that was huge. It may have not felt it at the time because I still got discouraged. I was still frustrated. I still cried like a baby several days, um, several moments of just feeling like I failed. What did I do wrong? And if anything, this has just pushed me to want to and get healthier even more, which I didn't think I would want that even more, but I do, like even more. Like I kind of 
took it to the next level this past week and um, or this week starting today was day one and that next level of being healthy and so um, I'm sure I drive my husband crazy because it's like oh I need this and I need that but but I say all that to say is to keep going guys keep going um, don't allow anything to get you to a point of where you quit because it's hard it is hard I know it's hard but God is with you God is cheering you on and he is not going to let you go he's not gonna let you go even even in those struggles even in those frustrations even in those hard times he's right there with you he is right there with you and he is so proud of your small beginning he is so proud that you are starting your journey with whatever it is if it's school if it's hey Cammie hey girl how are you um, if if you're starting um, a new job or you have a new goal or anything whatever it is if you're starting a new marriage I my cousin just got married recently so congratulations to her um, and and for them too this is a s small beginning uh, but one day when they've been married for a few years they're gonna look back and say wow that was a, a huge step in our life and it was a small beginning of our marriage but it's gonna be a huge thing later because they're gonna accomplish so much together and so whatever you're doing in life whether it's a new relationship or a new career goal or school goal or a weight loss goal or health goal whatever it is don't get discouraged if something happens don't get discouraged if you have a little um, mishap or if you um, something happens like me having a cyst structure uh, it's it's just a part of the journey and we can't give up when things don't make sense we can't give up whenever things don't go our way that's a huge one guys how many people tend to just give up because something doesn't go their way I mean we give up we're so quick to give up on relationships we're get we're so quick to give up on jobs on friendships on on goals because something didn't go our way or because something messed up and we can't do that guys we gotta keep going we gotta keep going we gotta keep fighting we gotta keep knowing that that end goal is gonna be worth it hey Jim how are how are you buddy so that's the message in case you guys aren't gonna hear it tomorrow on my Tuesday tea talk again though if you don't follow Chrissy Addis, it's Chrissy Addis Page. Go do that now because I um, I like to do videos. I don't do a whole lot of videos on my personal page anymore because I do most of them over there. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I just want you to know that God loves you and stay strong in your goals. Stay strong in whatever He has called you to do. If it's to be healthy, if it's to start something new, keep going keep being strong don't let anything hold you back don't let those mistakes make you quit don't be so qu quick to quit something don't that's a tongue twister don't be quick to quit something just don't don't do it don't let life get you down so I'll talk to y'all later have a wonderful day and I love y'all